Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Okay, welcome back. So, we will continue with the conformation of cyclohexane. So far, what we uh, know that cyclohexane uh, can exist uh, into extreme uh, conformations. One is the chair form, another is the board form. Uh, let and then this chair form uh, is the more stable of, of the of the two. And we are going to explain that in this lecture. We are going to. Uh, discuss the energy differences between the chair and the boat form. Uh, before that, I again remind you that this boat form is involved when we flip one chair into the other form. Okay? And during flipping, the rules are very clear, axial becomes equatorial, equatorial becomes axial, but the beta or alpha nature of the bonds remain the same. Okay? This concept will be useful when we come to the substituted cyclohexanes. Now, let us inspect the energy of the two forms. In the chair form, if we again uh, see the chair form, the chair form of the cyclohexane, obviously it has got 6 carbon atoms forming the ring. Okay? Now, when I look between any two carbon carbon bonds, if I look between any two carbon carbon bonds and then what I, if I want to know that what is the dihedral angle between the connected carbon carbon bond to these two carbon atoms. So, now what happens you forget this part suppose this part I do not uh, I do not want to see I just want to see if I look between any two carbon atoms what is the dihedral angle between the carbon carbon bonds that that are attached to these two carbon atoms. Okay. So, basically what I am seeing I am I am um, shadowing this part. So, what I see that it is kind of a butane unit 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that consists of a butane unit eh? and what I am doing I am trying to figure out that this butane unit is it in the staggered conformation or is it in the eclipse conformation. If it is in the staggered conformation then whether it is the gauche form or whether it is the antiform that what I am trying to figure out. Okay. Now, first of all there are 6 carbon atoms. So, when I look through any two bonds, so question is how many butane units I can find out in this way in the chair form. So, suppose this is your number 1 carbon and this is number 2. So, if I look from number 1 to 2, I see 1 butane unit. So, if it is 1 that has to be 6. So, 6, 1, 2 and 3 that is 1 butane unit. Then, if I look through 2 and 3, I see another butane unit. So, this is this was your 1, uh, this was your 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So, in this way you can think of bisecting uh, by, by dissecting not bisecting dissecting this cyclohexane into butane units. The question is how many butane units are present in cyclohexane. So, I draw this way again I draw the chair form. So, what I am saying that if this is your number 1 carbon suppose this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, 5 and 6. So, when I look from look through these two bonds 1 and 2 then I see what is the dihedral angle between this C 2 C 3 and C 1 C 6 because that makes one butane unit. So, this is one butane unit. Okay. So, my first butane unit is 6, 1, 2 and 3 and then what I will look? I will look into the dihedral angle between C 1 C 6, C 1 C 6 and C 2 C 3 and it is clear what is the dihedral angle? You do not need the model here. It is very clear that they are not anti because these two carbons are not this anti is this if this carbon is in this direction carbon carbon bond 
and if the other carbon carbon bond is in this so that is the anti so that is not there that is very clear and this is the staggered form that is also very clear because you see the uh, nothing is eclipsing each other so it is not it is not a and not the eclipse form so it is in the staggered form but it is not anti so it has to be in the gauche form then because this is the this is the logic but you can see the model also if you see between 1 and 2 suppose so i see an angle of 60 degree so i this is 60 degree that means this is a this this butane unit is in the gauche form and likewise you can find other butane units if i look through 2 and 3 then i get another butane unit 1 2 3 4 then the question comes that what is the diagonal angle between c2 c1 and c3 c4 and it will be again 60 degree so, this is one Gauche butane unit and this is another Gauche butane unit. So, likewise how many you can find? So, just by combination you can tell that the next one will be this is 1, 2, 3, 4, the next one will be 2, 3, 4, 5, then you will have 3, 4, 5, 6 then 4, 5, 6, 1 okay? and then 5, 6, 1, 2. After that you come back to the origin, the first one 6, 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, these are the you can consider cyclohexane as considering this butane unit. So, you, di you dissect it in such a way that you can see all these 4 butane units. And all these four butane units are in the Gauche butane conformation. Okay. Is it? Six. Six butane units, yes. If I have said something wrong, this is six butane units, and all these six butane units are in the Gauche form, correct. And the energy associated we know the what is the energy excess energy a gauche butane unit has over the staggered or the anti form okay and that was i just remind you that was 0 0.9 kilocalorie per mole okay so this cyclohexane in the chair form has an energy of 6 into 0 0.9 kilocalorie per mole so that becomes 5.4 kilocalorie per mole. Remember, this is not absolute energy, this is taking anti butane as 0 as the 0 point energy. So, if you think anti has 0, then that is my starting point. So, cyclohexane shear has energy because it has got 6 Gauche butane interactions. 6 Gauche butane units. So, the energy is 5.4 kilocalorie per mole. Okay. So, that is the chair form. Now, we inspect the boat form. So, how the boat form is arrived? See you what you do? You take this up and you get the boat form. This is the boat form. Okay. Now, in the boat form, uh, we have to write the hydrogens, the substituents, the substituents look like this. And so, these are the substituents. So, you see there are these are kind of the axial bonds which are present in the uh, which were present uh, in, in the cyclohexane chair, but now instead of a C 3 axis what it has is a C 2 axis. If you rotate it 180 degree, you get the you come to the original. If you rotate it by 180 degree, you come to the original appearance. Okay. So, it has got a C 2 axis. So, these are these are not no longer parallel, but quite close to the to it is not parallel, but almost parallel these down bonds. So, they are called axial bonds. Okay and these are the equatorial bonds. Now, what happens to these two bonds? Okay. These two bonds have a special name. The bonds here, T 
these two hydrogens are the very important hydrogens because they are within the sum of their van der Waals radii. Okay. So, that means they will they will now hit each other. Okay. So, this is first of all these hydrogens are called the flagpole hydrogens and they hit each other. So, there is a steric strain associated by having these flagpole hydrogens. So, the boat form already has a problem which was which is not present in the chair form already there is this hydrogen hydrogen interaction the flagpole these are called flagpole earlier it is used to call both sprit flagpole interactions, but actually these are flagpole hydrogens. Flagpole is basically what that you have in the boat you have a you have a flag you can ha have a pole in the boat and then you can have a flag attached to the boat. So, from that it, the name has originated the flagpole flagpole is basically we hoist a flag on a stand. So, the boat has a stand this is the stand and you attach a flag. So, the hydrogen is occupying the flag pole position. So, this is the flag pole hydrogen hydrogen interactions. Okay. So, that is in the boat form. Now, you can say because of that flag pole flag uh, hydrogen interaction boat form is less stable, but that is not the entire picture. There is flag pole hydrogen interactions true, but that does not contribute much to the instability of the boat form. We have to again inspect the boat form and dissect it into the butane in units and then see what is the status of this butane units. Okay. I can show you in the model that in the chair form the butane units are all in the gauche conformation. Whereas, in the boat form you see suppose this is my number 1 carbon this is number 2 carbon if I look through this 1 and 2 I again see a, a diagonal angle of 60 degree that means this 1 that means this C 6 1 2 and 3. So, this is a butane unit that is in the Gauche conformation. Okay. If you look through this also the next pair of carbon atoms you see again an angle of 60 degree. Okay. So, now I can come here and then number it again. So, suppose this is your 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5 uh, and this is 6. So, do not actually miss and this is not as per the numbering system here. If, if I maybe if I stick to that numbering system because it is derived from that. So, better then this is 1 and this is 2, this is 3 this is your 4 carbon, this is the fifth one which has gone up and this is your sixth one. So, now the butane units are one is again that 6 1 2 3, 6 1 2 3 this is in the Gauche form I have already showed that to you. Then the next one is what 1 2 3 4 that is also that is also in the Gauche form. Okay. Now, what happens after that? So, this is again I come back to the model. So, this is the first one is between these two I see an angle of 60 degree. So, this is a Gauche form then I see between these two I see again there is an angle of 60 degree. So, that is in the Gauche form, but then when I come to this these two the next set what I see that these carbon carbon bonds are eclipsing each other. Okay. And the same is true if you are careful enough now you see on the left side also there is another pair of butane units which are eclipsing each other. Okay. So, what are these? These are the these are this uh, 2 3 4 5. So, 2 3 4 5 in the in the boat conformation is not a gauche butane unit it is a eclipsed eclipse butane unit and then likewise another one will be there 5 6 1 2 5 6 1 2 that is also in the in the eclipsed butane unit. So, now what we have we have one gauche then second one 
then there is an eclipse. So, forget about that this is the this is gosh and this is also gosh form. So, maybe I can write here also this is gosh form. So, you have four four gosh butane units in the boat form and the remaining two are in the eclipse form. Okay. So, now you try to calculate the energy. So, what is the energy? Because there are four butane units which are in the gauche form. So, you have 4 into 0 0.9 that becomes 3.6 kilocalorie per mole and you have two eclipse butane unit. Eclipse butane unit is almost uh, is having an energy of um, excess energy of about say roughly about 5. Okay. So, if it is roughly about 5, 5 into 2, so that makes it 10. Now, this is approximate okay, because there is a range, nobody really could accurately measure this eclipse butane interactions that gives an energy between about 4 to 6. So, I take the middle value 5, so that will be 10 and if you add this up 13.6 kilocalorie per mole that is just as per the butane units plus you have to add this steric interaction between the flat pole hydrogens. Okay. So, if, so it is at least 13.6, but it is greater than 13.6. So, it will be around I can say it will be around suppose 15 kilocalorie per mole considering that the flat pole hydrogens interaction is about uh, 1. 4, 1.4 kilocalorie. These are approximate values, but even if it is approximate, even if it is not 15, it could be 16 or 14, but it is way above the value that we have for the cyclohexane chair. So, this is the energy of the cyclohexane chair and this is the energy of the cyclohexane boat. So, now you can uh, see what is the energy difference between the two. So, the, the boat form is, is highly energy has much higher energy than the chair form and this is the reason why the boat form is unstable and cyclohexane exist mostly in the chair form. Okay. Now, in between, so I hope this is clear. Now, in between the when you do the flipping, there is something else that how the energy changes then the energy if the boat form has uh, we know the boat form has higher energy that is true. So, if this is the energy and these are the forms. So, what happens this is suppose this is the chair form one chair form I draw here and I am doing the process of flipping. So, what will happen first I suppose the way I do the flipping there are two options I have. I can bring this down and then let us take this up or I can do the reverse. I can take this up and bring this down. Okay. Suppose I am taking this up. Okay. Now, what will happen? This is interesting that uh, so this is my starting chair. So, first what I am doing? I am doing an operation where I take the leg of the, the bottom of the chair and trying to bring it to the to the top. Okay. While doing so, I end up with a system where 5 carbon atoms are in a plane and very similar to the envelope conformation that we have seen in cyclopentane. So, I see a form, I have to go through this form if I want to take this up. So, I go through this form, this form has very high energy because now you have so many eclipsing interactions because four car, uh, 5 carbon atoms. 5 carbon atoms are in the plane. So, there are a lot of eclipsing interactions involved in this form. So, 5 carbon atoms in a plane, then you have the top of the chair that is still remaining there. Now, this is what is called the half chair conformation, the half chair. Okay. The half chair is, so when you make it up, so you go through a form which looks like this. So, the energy will rise like this. So, this is the half chair, energy of the half chair. Okay. And then you 
bring it further up. So, this is the half chair and now you, so you have the highest energy point. Now, you have crossed the highest energy point. So, you are bringing it further up. Okay. So, as you complete the complete operation, complete operation means take it to the take it to a point where it occupies the ultimately it will occupy the head of the chair. What happens these two hydrogens which are the flagpole hydrogens they began to strike each other. So, what is happening? So, this form has the highest energy then the energy starts decreasing, decreasing it starts decreasing, but at some point it again starts increasing because when the hydrogen start hitting each other. So, the, the increase the system again the energy increases. Okay. So, this is that means before you reach the boat form the perfect boat form you have something which will look like this where the flagpole hydrogens are not close enough like a are not that close enough in the like in the boat form. Now, this is what is called this is not the boat this is what is called the twist boat the twist boat form and it is uh, uh, it is usually drawn in in this fashion means not in this fashion it is usually drawn in this fashion where you look through these crosswise between the between these opposing bonds and if you do this it will look like something like this the this is the way to draw the half chair a twist boat sorry not the half chair this is the twist boat. Okay. I hope this is clear that means, before you reach the boat you have a point where, where the energy so it goes down first it goes up because you are making lot of eclipsing interactions creating lot of eclipsing interactions. So, it has gone up it is a half chair then you again continue the operation move it further up energy goes down, but energy goes down up to a point which is called the twist boat form and then it goes to the boat form. So, this is the boat form and this is this is the form which I have drawn is what is called the twist boat. Okay. And then the next half of the operation will be just the whatever you have drawn then what you have this is the boat then it starts moving out. So, the flagpole hydrogen interaction starts decreasing. So, the energy decreases. So, once you reach the boat then again the energy decreases and you come to a point which is called twist boat. Okay. So, you go to another twist boat and then you come to a point where all again all the 5 carbon atoms are in the plane that is just the mirror image of the half chair that you have drawn. So, mirror image of the half chair mirror image of the half chair will be now will look like this will look like this and ultimately you come to the flipped form. Okay. The flipped form will be this. So, I hope this is clear now. So, first you have this chair then you have the half chair which is the highest energy point then you have twist boat, then you have boat, then you have another twist boat, then you have the mirror image half chair and then finally, the mirror image chair okay, that is the twisted form. Okay. Now, if I ask that what are the conformers of cyclohexane? The conformers of cyclohexane are the chair form and the twist boat because twist boat is occupying that is the definition of of the definition of twist boat okay a definition of conformers which is occupying the uh, occupying the minima of the energy profile diagram so according to that this is a conformer that is a conformer but interestingly boat is not a conformer Okay, it is so whenever uh, we talk about the conformers it is the chair form and the twist board. However, for just simplicity 
we do not discriminate this twist boat and boat that much because the energy difference is not very high. It is only the flat pole interactions that contribute about 1 kilocalorie or 1.23 something approximately. Uh, so, that is not much energy. So, we generally equate um, is do not discriminate between the boat and the twist boat, but truly speaking if you are a very rigorous stereochemist uh, uh, scientist then you have to say that boat is not a conformer, the conformer is the twist boat and obviously the chair form. Okay. So, that is the energy profile diagram how the energy changes as you go from as you do the process of flipping. Okay. I hope this is clear. So, we have uh, now learned that the axial equatorial concept we have learned the what happens to the flipping why chair form is more stable than the boat form that we have learned and we have also uh, learned the, um, the different uh, learned the very important concept that boat is not a conformer it is the twist boat that is the conformer. So, cyclohexane ideally has two types of conformers one is the chair another is the twist boat. Okay. Thank you.